friends, it's Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here to share some adult coloring books with you. The owner of Creatively Calm Studios reached out to me and asked if I would be interested in sharing my review of these coloring books. And I agreed because as you know, I do enjoy coloring, especially adult coloring books. And I have shared my collection with you that was over six months ago. I believe it's time to do an updated coloring book collection. Collection. I also shared some of the things that I colored with and I will be briefly mentioning those again I will have my coloring book collection linked in the description box for you as well as a link to these products on Amazon They are currently listed at $19.97. They are on sale and the bonus about that is that this company donates to charities a portion of the proceeds go to a charity of their choosing and I think that that's a great thing for this company Company to do. So the three coloring books that I were sent, they were part of a three pack, is Up in the Air, Into the Jungle, and Under the Sea. They have super glossy covers, as you can see here. Um, each coloring book measures eight and a half inches squared, so they're nice travel size. They're rather thin, but this three pack includes up to 120 plus images. Um, they get illustrators from around the world, different countries to help illustrate their coloring books. They also have a presence on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. All of that information is right here on the back of the coloring book. Um, but let's go ahead and talk about what I thought about these. So one of the most important things to me is the actual um, pages. If they're white or if they're that yellowy color, I really prefer coloring books to have a white paper and these all do feature a white paper. So no pixelization. Also, they have a faint hint of like that college textbook smell. So I kind of like that, oddly enough. Um, so that's another thing about this. So they do have the white pages, super glossy covers, nice size. Um, the images are really great. There are these, you know, great patterns, kind of um, different animals and stuff like that. Thicker lines, thinner lines, lots of... Um, patterns, um, great for detail work. They have some that have finer details, some that, you know, not so much, um, like maybe this one, not as much detail work has to go into this one, but something like the gazelle that I showed you, um, would have a lot of detail, fine line, or maybe it's just a deer or a doe, um, lots of detail work, um, needed for that. So um, I guess you're wondering how it handles under different mediums. Another great thing about these coloring books is that the cover um, illustration is the first thing that you flip to right here in the beginning. And on the back of that, you have a blank page to test out color combinations, different median, mediums to see how they bleed through and so forth. Um, also, they have their social media page and then on the back of that social media page, it's blank as well. Um, but every other um, page in here is double-sided. So I thought it was really important that there was little to no bleed through. Um, the mediums that I shared with you in my adult coloring books, um, collection are the ones that I tested here um, from markers to Jelly Roll gel pan pens and my Prismacolor pencils, the Premier and the Verithin. And these are some of the ones that I tried. I tried all of the colors um, and then just like a few of these, but all of my marker sets, the ones that work. Um, and as you can see here, there is absolutely no bleed through whatsoever. So if you're looking to use those type of markers or pens, um, it seems like it's going to be great. Another thing to note is that the Jelly Roll gel pens, sometimes in some other coloring books, it seems like the ink sits on top of the paper and it doesn't get absorbed, even if you leave it for a really long time. This paper is really great because it's super absorbent and none of the gel pens um, ran at all. Of course, you can't immediately touch it, but if you leave it for just like a few seconds, it really absorbs super fast. 
So I was happy about that because I really do love coloring with gel pens. Um, I also tried out, because of the Under the Sea um, one, I was thinking I was going to be using a lot of watercolors for like the backgrounds and stuff like that. Um, so I went ahead and I tried out this jellyfish. I started this jellyfish right here and um, I used gel pens for his this purple bit and then I started using some watercolor here. Um, I did use two different types of watercolor. I used Crayola, like basic watercolor, and then I used a higher quality watercolor and I found that it does warp the page. It's kind of hard just to see on its own but when I close the book you can see. Um, and I did after I painted it I did close it and put some weight on it to try to get it to lay flat but it just didn't bounce back. So watercolors may not be the best medium to use in these coloring books. Um, maybe pastels or um, think something like that and also it's very faint but it did have a little bit of bleed through up here um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that on the camera it was very slight but if you use a heavier hand or you use more water it may bleed through even more so although that watercolors may not be the best medium to use in these, I think the designs are really great. I love that they give a percentage of the proceeds to charity and I love the size and the design, mainly the designs. That's always like one of the most important things and that the mediums that I have on hand are going to work well in these and that was the case so I'm really excited about having these in my collection thank you to the people at Creatively Calm Studios for sending these to me I believe that these would work well for beginners or intermediate level or even like more advanced color colors <laughs> is that a word advanced color people advanced artists that like to color um so I think that that's all I have to share with you today. I hope I have answered any questions that you have about these three coloring books. If you have any questions that I did not answer, um, just leave me a question down in the comment section and I will do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. But that's all I have for you today. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye!